Colorado's spring game is coming this weekend, and there are some major storylines that you guys need to know about. We're going to make sure to update you and tell you something that you probably didn't know in today's video. The spring game is less than a week away, and as a reminder, it is the only spring game in the country that's on ESPN's main channel this year. Nobody else in the nation is getting the Coach Prime treatment. Nobody else in the nation is getting the ESPN love quite like Colorado football is. And there's a reason for that. Folks know that when Coach Prime is involved, things are going to be elite. Things are going to be exciting. And folks are going to want to tune in to see what's going on. We did a full-length video talking about the ESPN decision to only have the Colorado Spring Game on their main channel. You can check that out when this video is over. We'll link it above and in the description. But it's something you should certainly check out. It's a massive recruiting advantage to be the only team in the country on ESPN's main channel. The entire nation will be watching Colorado football where you have to log into an ESPN account to check out really anybody else that's playing this year. Reminder as well, going into this spring game, that Colorado pulled in the number one portal class in the nation. I'm very excited to see some of the difference makers that Coach Prime brought in. And we spent some time in four different videos detailing these guys and we will link that at the end of this video so that you can see it. They're all in one playlist. You need to check that out if you haven't already. The most important thing to me this weekend and what I want to see the most in Colorado's spring game is Shador Sanders. It all starts and it all ends with the quarterback. And he's a very talented kid. He threw for a great touchdown to interception radio ratio in his time at Jackson State. And I think that he's got the tools to be very, very successful here in the Pac-12 and at Colorado. But he's going to need those tools because he is going to be asked to do a ton. The success that follows Colorado, the success that finds Colorado, is mostly going to be on the back of Shador Sanders. And I think he's ready for the challenge. I think he's ready to step up, take that mantle, and run with it. He's a confident kid. And look who his dad is. He knows what it takes to be elite. And he knows what it takes to lead this team. But how quickly can he adjust to it? How quickly can he jump into what Colorado is going to ask him to do for this football team? If that happens quickly, you're going to see Colorado have a, a really good year. You're going to see Colorado exceed expectations. If that takes a little longer to happen, if that takes more time for him to adjust, you could see things start out a little more slowly for the Buffaloes. I have no doubt that in time, Shador Sanders will be a really good quarterback for this Buffaloes team. But how quickly can he get on the same page with his receivers, with his offensive line, with his running backs to lead the Buffaloes to where they want to go? Next up, it feeds right into how well Shador is going to play this year and in the spring game. What does the offensive line look like? How do they gel? You've got guys that have been on this team before, this roster before. You've got incoming freshmen. You've got transfers. There are a lot of new pieces that Coach uh, O'Boyle is going to have to work to get them to gel. What's the size look like? What is their off-season conditioning, their strength and uh, conditioning program been like at Colorado these last several months? And what's the beef on that offensive line look like? Uh, are those guys able to withstand some of the really talented defensive line prospects that so, uh, that Colorado brought in, some of those transfers that we spent time talking to you guys about. Is the offensive line able to hold up? Is the offensive line able to be a strength? If the offensive line at Colorado is a strength this year for the Buffaloes, they're going to do really, really special things. If that offensive line hinders the team in any way, it's going to make it really, really tough for the elite playmakers like Sanders and Hunter and others to get much done. That offensive line is one of the hidden keys to the Buffalo success this year. I have a lot of confidence in Coach O'Boyle. He has been a very established coach and we talked about him uh, at length and in great detail in our coaching segment video. But I do think that it does take time for some of that to translate and how quickly can he get them all on the same page. That's going to be massive and probably one of the bigger things that I'm watching for in this spring game. Just before we get to 
probably the most well-known and probably the most exciting player on the team that everyone wants to talk about, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. There will be a ton of news coming out of this spring game weekend, and you are not going to want to miss that. Hit subscribe. We took a couple of days off as I was doing some traveling, and we haven't released a video in a couple of days, but we're glad you're back, and we want you part of what we're doing here at the Prime Time for College Football. All right, let's get to him. Travis Hunter, the number one player in the nation in the 2021 recruiting class. They absolutely balled out at times there at Jackson State. Was really big in their championship game at the end of the year. Caught the game-tying touchdown at the end of the game that sent it to overtime. What does he look like here in Colorado for the spring game? I know there have been videos that have come out that have questioned who he's lining up against or what this defensive back looks like in this Twitter clip. And I know that those are fun things to debate on social media. But I want to see the more technical aspects. How is he grasping that full-time wide receiver position? How much does he line up at cornerback? And what does that look like for him this weekend? Is he able to grasp onto both of those? He is an elite playmaker. He's an elite baller. Nobody has any doubts about that. He's going to be one of the most elite players on either side of the ball every time Colorado lines up to play this year. But how does he do playing both positions? Which position does he play more? And what does that look like this season? I'm very interested to see what one of the most talented players on their roster ends up looking like. Next up is communication. Uh, not necessarily any one player or any one unit, but I think that there are some really important communication pieces that we will need to take away from this game. What do the wide receivers look like with Shador? Are they on the same page? Is that timing down yet? Are the routes crisp and are the throws thrown with anticipation so that Shador and the wide receivers look sharp? How do the running backs look? Are they blocking well? Are they picking up blitzes when Shador calls them into him? Are they uh, accepting handoffs well? Are they doing the little things that matter? We mentioned the offensive line. Obviously, communication there needs to be really, really sharp. On the defensive side of the ball, are the defenders blitzing the right gaps? Are they communicating well about the offensive schemes and what they see coming? Is the secondary able to play at an elite level against these really, really good playmakers like Travis Hunter. Obviously, when Travis is on defense, we think that he'll do pretty well. But when he's on offense, are they able to limit him? Are the secondary and the defensive backs able to communicate well enough to limit what we think will be a really, really good Colorado offense? I think communication is going to be huge here. It's going to be huge not only in the spring game, but obviously through the year. How much has set in in these spring practices so far? And how much do we see this weekend? Recruiting is going to be massive this weekend. And we've told you this. The number one recruit in the nation is going to be in town. And what visitors think of this weekend is also going to be very, very important. Colorado is one of only a few teams in the country that has sold out their spring game. And that's really impressive. When you think about the fact that Colorado and most places in general just don't sell out spring games. There are a couple of schools every year who do, but it's not very common. And I think that it is going to be impressive for recruits that are visiting several spring games and being on campus in several different places this spring to see a full, sold-out, on-fire stadium there in Boulder this weekend. If you're going to the game, let us know down in the comments below, and I hope you are loud, cheering like crazy, because the recruiting atmosphere that is going to be Colorado's spring game is going to be like none other. Who's on commit watch this weekend? Who do we think may flip? Well, we've heard that Colorado is intending to pick up a couple of commits out of the weekend. So not only where we, will we see where Colorado is on the field this year, we're also gonna see how they're gonna do from a recruiting perspective with these big weekends. Coach Prime has a class that's ranked around 20th in the nation, and that's only going to improve after this weekend. We told you in our last video about some of the guys who were on flip watch. We told you about some of the guys who are coming in and highly sought after and visiting Colorado this weekend for their spring game. We've also heard that Colorado is going to be very, very active in the portal. As you've seen some guys leave, there will be new guys coming in to replace them. We're excited for all of that, so make sure you're locked in with the channel so you don't miss any of it. 
We mentioned some of those recruits that are visiting this weekend. If you missed that video where we detail most of the recruits that are visiting and then the other video that's for our members where we tell you every single person who is confirmed to be visiting, you can do me a favor and click right here. If you wanna see the transfer video that we did, you can click right here. Thank you guys as always for watching the prime time for college football.